Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, as you are all well aware, it is the international break, which means no club football. And given that most of our players are actually not going to play for England now, it's going to be a bit more boring. Anyways, I thought I'd do a different type of video. If you're well aware and you've followed my channel for a while now, then you know I have a, quite a few shirts I wear in different videos, all my previews and reviews and stuff. So I thought I'd collect them all and make a video of all of them put together because I get some questions about how many shirts do you have, where's that shirt from, etc. So I thought I'd put them all together, talk about them, which year they're from, are they obviously home or away shirts, any special memories I have for them, just chronologically, and I'll probably choose my top three or so. You can let me know if you have the shirt or if you have the home or away equivalent or which is your favourite shirt in the comments down below. So I've actually just counted and I have 10 shirts. Nine of those are kits and one is just a training shirt. And wow, that's a lot. I've obviously not included like t-shirts and stuff. For example, this one, which is a Lane Finale shirt, just the kit shirts, especially the ones I wear quite often. So let's get started. This is the first one I'm going to show. It is a 2001 and 2002 Holston Adidas Away shirt. Now this one isn't actually mine, it's my dad's, but it's mine now. He handed it down to me because the one I had when I was really small is obviously doesn't fit me anymore. This is actually one of my favorite ones just because I love the material. It's still so sturdy. I love how like soft it is at the Holston here. Um, I love how old school it is. It's just, it has a very traditional vibe to it. I really, really like it. I think it's, it's a very comfy shirt as well. So if I do have a chance to wear it, then I do wear it because it's one, as I said, it's one of my favorite ones. So no particular memories. As I said, I was quite young during that time. So I don't have many memories from this shirt, uh, but it's definitely one of my favorites right now. The next one is this 2004, 2005 Thompson Kappa home shirt. Now, I don't actually really like this shirt because I think the material is a bit thin. Um, it's very stretchy, which is good, but I just don't really like the fit of it. So it's not amongst my favorite ones per kit, but the only reason I really, really like it is this is the season I went to my first game, which was against Liverpool as a one or draw. And uh, this is the time I started properly going to games. So it has a good memory in terms of that. The next one is this Mansion Puma 2006-2007 home shirt. I really like this one. It still fits me. This is mine at the time someone was my dad because the small one didn't fit me anymore. Um, but I really like it. It's uh, I, th I much prefer the Pumas. I actually, you'll be seeing that I have a lot of Pumas. I really like the Puma materials. And this shirt, my favorite memory was when we beat Cholton 5-1 in December. That was one of my favorite memories of all my favorite games. So yeah, that's my probably my favorite memory from this shirt. So the next one is the training shirt, which is from the Puma range. So it's roughly around this time. Now I think it is from the 2007 and 2008 because the previous one was the previous season and I have a shirt for the next season. So this is the season I didn't have a kit shirt for. So I thought we opted for a training shirt because we really liked the look of it. So I think this is that one. And well, if you know which year and which season I'm talking about, this is the season when we won the League Cup, where we beat Chelsea 2-1. So understandably, that's the biggest memory from that season for me. So the next one is another Mansion of Puma. This is the 2008-2009 Away shirt. Now, as I said, I like the material from the Pumas. They still last really well after a few years of wearing wear and tear and wash as well. So I really, really like that. Not probably one of my favorite ones, but I really like the design. It looks, looks a bit different. And as far as memories from that season, nothing really spectacular. So this next shirt, I actually really like it. I think the design is good. I like the fit of it. It still fits me really well to this day. So I really like it, but I have a feeling not everyone likes it. At least that's what I heard. It is the 2009-2010 home shirt. Again, Mansion and Puma. So as I said, I really like it. I don't have any specific memories from this season. I don't think we have any outstanding things I've been to. So these are all my memories. I've been to games as well. Uh, but as I said, it's one of my favorites just because of the fit really. So the next one is quite a special one. It is the Investec Puma 2010-2011 Cup shirt because Investec specifically sponsored us for the European games and probably the domestic cups as well. I can't remember that, but I remember the European one specifically, especially this design. It's quite hard to forget. So yeah, that's probably the standout memory from this season as well for me. I really like it. It's, it's a good shirt. Again, Puma, you know, if I just have to talk about that, but I think there's much more memories to this to this shirt than just what it is. 
So as I said, the Investec one was the cup shirt for the Orasma, or I think back then it was probably Autonomy or something like that. Now here's the one which is actually Orasma, is Under Armour this time, so we've moved on from Puma, we're, all, we're into Under Armour. This is the 2012-2013 home shirt. Now, I don't think I actually showed you properly, but I really like this one. It's got this um, little design here by the side. You can see it's got that gray. I actually really like this. Such a comfortable shirt, honestly. I love it so much. The design is really nice as well. It's so flattering. Um, and yeah, this side as well is definitely one of my favorites for sure. Now there's only two left, two of my favorite ones as well. This is the HP Under Armour 2013-2014 home shirt. I know loads of people didn't like at the time that the HP's colors clashed with our navy blue, but I really like this shirt. I wore this a lot, especially when AIA came through the next couple of seasons. We obviously still have them to this day. And the red, I know I have loads of mansions, but I got really particular about not wearing red. So I wore this a lot. I had loads of other kits as well. So I figured it's not really justifiable to buy a new shirt every season and basically since that season until this one I had didn't buy a new shirt so I wore this shirt a lot and mainly the yellow one so yeah that's why this is probably one of my favorite ones as I said I wore it a lot the next one and the last one which is my absolute favorite and I think you know that it is the new Nike ones I am when I found out that we're going to have Nike as a sponsor I lost it. I was like, I don't care if it's AIA. We, I'm buying a shirt, and I'm so, this away kit is absolutely gorgeous. And the best part about it with Nike is that they have separate women's collections. So I don't know if you can tell, oh, but it's got like little curved edges, so it's not straight. For men's, it's straight, which is perfectly fine. But for women's, they curve it, and I love that so much. Seriously, I think it's so considerate. And uh, yeah, by far one of my favorite shirts. I think they're incredibly comfortable. Um, they fit well, they look good. I love the design. It's simple, it's blue and white, navy blue and white. Um, the shield, at first, I didn't like it, but I got used to it. You can watch my separate Nike video on it, to be honest. Uh, but I, I really like it now. I think it's quite, it's quite special so yeah this is definitely my favorite so yeah let's, let's gather which ones were my favorites so Nike HP are definitely my two favorite ones I actually as I said I really like this Orasma one the yellow one I wore quite a lot when I didn't wear the HP one and yeah obviously my Holston so I think I'll just stick with a top five otherwise I'm just gonna say I like all of them actually that's not true but yeah so that's my top five so please let me know which ones are your favorite ones either from one of the ones I have or the ones you have send me pictures if you have some retro kits that would be so cool so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video it was a little bit different but I thought it would be nice to get something out for the international break if you did enjoy this video then please give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you would like to see more Spurs related content from me check out my social media handles in the description box down below hopefully I will see you in the future and come on you Spurs so